In this video, we're going to look at determining characteristics of a function from a graph. The first thing we're going to look at are what are this called the zeros or the roots or the x-intercept of a function. This is where the graph of a function hits the x-axis. As we can see, it hits at four points at negative four, negative two, zero, and three. Now let's write these up in pairs. Now because the y-coordinate in all of them is zero, for instance at negative four it'd be negative four zero, then we'd have negative two zero, zero zero, and three zero. So that's how we could write x-intercepts as ordered pairs. Next we're going to look at the increasing and decreasing behavior of a function. We read a graph from left to right, and if it goes down it's decreasing, if it goes up it's increasing. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the graph off where there's turning points. Notice that the graph starts out at decreasing, but then at about negative 3.1 it switches and goes to increasing. Then it increases up to about negative 1, where it stops again and turns, changes directions back to decreasing right about to 2. We'll just estimate it at 2 for this problem. Now, to write the intervals where it's increasing and decreasing, we used what's called interval notation. It looks a lot like the ordered pair form of a point, but we're actually doing intervals of x values only. So this first place where it's decreasing, well, it comes in from negative infinity and decreases till about negative 3.1. Then, as we said before, it switches to increasing from about negative 3.1 to negative 1. Then we see it switches again back to decreasing from negative 1 to 2. Finally, our last interval, it increases the rest of the way, so we'd put it as 2 to infinity. Now, what we're going to do, we have two places where it was increasing and two where it was decreasing. We need to group those together. So there's our two places where it was decreasing, and then we have two places where it was increasing. So in writing this up, what we're going to do is we're going to union those two distinct intervals together. So it's increasing from negative 3.1 to negative 1, and also from 2 to infinity. It's decreasing from negative infinity to negative 3.1, and also from negative 1 to 2. Notice in both cases the order goes from left to right or this most negative number to the most positive number. We always go in that order. The last characteristic we're going to look at in this video is concavity. There are two types of concavity. There's concave up and concave down. So function is concave up if it opens upwards. So looking at our function, the first place where it's concave up is that first part from negative infinity up to about negative 2.1. Right there it switches concavity. So it switches concavity and is now concave down to about just short of 1, so we'll say 0.9. And finally the rest is concave up. Now just like with increasing and decreasing, we're going to use interval notation. So it's concave up from negative infinity to negative 2.1. Then it switches to concave down from negative 2.1 to 0 0.9. Then it switches back to concave up from 0.9 on to infinity. So we have two places where it's concave up and one where it's concave down. Now, we again, we will write this up in interval notation and we're going to group the two that are concave up together just like we did before and we'll union those together with a U. So from negative infinity to negative 2.1 and from 0.9 to infinity, it's concave up. From negative 2.1 to 0.9, it's concave down. Now this is important because where a function is concave up, it has an increasing rate of change. And where a function is concave down, it has a decreasing rate of change. So just as a recap, here's our original function. We found that it had zeros at negative 4, 0, negative 2, 0, 0, 0, and 3, 0. It was increasing from negative 3.1 to negative 1 and 2 to infinity, decreasing from negative infinity to negative 3.1 and negative 1 to 2, concave up from negative infinity to negative 2.1 and 0.9 to infinity, and concave down from negative 2.1 to 0.9. And that's how we can identify some of these characteristics from a graph.